Sunlight affects the rate of photosynthesis. Whether the plant is on a north or south facing slope will affect how much sunlight is exposed to. Rain affects the amount of water the plant can absorb, therefore affecting rate of photosynthesis. Wind causes greater transpiration rates, so the plant loses more water, affecting photosynthesis. Chemical nature of soil affects nutrients the plant can take in and so will affect the growth and health. Asexual reproduction produces individuals that are genetically identical to the parent plant, as shown in the diagram. Sexual reproduction the fusion of two nuclei from two individuals of opposite sexes. There are specialized cells called gametes. Sexual reproduction is more effective in changing environmental conditions. It results in the offspring inheriting the genes from two parents, which means there will be greater genetic variation rather than clones of the parent plant. Bryophytes are non-vascular plants, example, liverworts and mosses. They prefer moist habitats, though it can survive in dry climates range of temperatures, elevations, moistures on rocks and in soil. They do not depend on roots for uptake of water from soil, therefore can grow where vascular plants cannot, and do not grow very large. Bryophytes reproduce by spores spread by wind and insects. Fertilization requires water for the male sperm to swim to the female egg. Pteridophytes are vascular land plants, for example ferns. They thrive in cool and shady areas, a moist habitat, and acidic soil. Biotic factors are a wide range of insects. Surrey are small brown pods that contain the spores of the plant. They are located on the underside of the leaves. They are protected and can fall directly on the ground. Fertilization requires water so that the male sperm can swim to the female eggs. Gymnosperms are vascular seeding plants. They live in dry conditions, direct sunlight, and on steep slopes. They have thick cuticles which result in less transpiration. Gymnosperms have a mutualistic relationship with fungi. The fungus facilitates the uptake in nutrients and protects the gymnosperms' roots from parasites. In return, the fungi draws sugars from the gymnosperms. Gymnosperm means naked seed because it is not contained by an ovary fruit. Seed dispersal for pollination is from wind or gravity. Pollen is found in the male cone, while the female cone contains ovules. Water is not required for fertilization because the male gamete travels down the pollen tube to reach the female gamete. Angiosperms Angiosperms are seed producing plants. They are flowers and fruit. Angiosperms live in most habitats and thrive in conditions of full sun, wind, steep slopes, low humidity, high nutrient soils, and higher temperatures. Biotic factors include insects, birds, and larger animals and fungi. Dispersal of seed is aided by wind and water. Insects and birds will help with pollination. The pollination is dispersed on insects and birds' bodies or carried by the wind and water. No water is required for fertilization. Flowers ensure the fertilization of the ovule and the development of fruit containing seeds. Male reproductive organs are the stem and the pollen. The female reproductive organ includes the pistil, ovary, and ovules. The sepals and petals indirectly contribute to the reproductive process. Sepals are the green leaves which protect the bud of the flower. The petals help protecting the ovary but, most importantly, produce nectar or produces scent to attract pollinators. The stamen is made up of the filament and the anthers. The anther produces all the pollen and this is where the pollen is dispersed. The filament supports the anthers. Pollen is carried by the pollinators to the tip of the pistil. The stigma produces a sticky substance which carries the pollen. The pollen then grows a pollen tube down the stout and the male gamete is carried down to the ovary where it is fertilized with an ovule which will become the fruit of the seed.